She's self-driven. She has desire. She has fire. She has stamina. She has what it takes to go to the next level. That's what impresses me about Eliza. I've been knowing Eliza probably since he was like in the fourth or fifth grade. Uh, Eliza, I saw her at the YMCA working out. Um, some of her close friends were some of my former students. So they brought her around to the gym, we were working out. And I seen this young lady that, that worked extremely hard. I'm like, wow. And she used to get there. And then at the time she was playing at YMCA, I saw her playing against some of the guys I coached. I used to coach elementary basketball. And she was getting the better of those guys. And actually one of the guys was in the game, he was crying because he couldn't check her. And it was and the guy's like second team all state right now this year. And it's amazing to see that she had that upside on him in the fourth and fifth grade. So that's my first experience of counting her, seeing how great she was and how hard she worked at the time. Her tenacity is probably, um, it, it's special. It's an anomaly amongst kids. You know, In these days, you don't see kids work as hard as she does at anything. Um, and she's very, very driven and focused. Um, she's also just gifted. I mean, Eliza does more than play basketball. A lot of people see her just as this athlete, but uh, the girl can sing. Um, and she's sung here before. She's done special music. She has a beautiful, beautiful voice. I used to sing um, when I was elementary, early middle school. Um, but I stopped because I needed to focus on one thing. I knew that basketball is what I wanted to do, as well as I played soccer. Um, and when I was in fifth grade, my dad asked me a question. He was like, you got to choose one or the other because you don't want to get hurt playing one that you don't care about as much as the other and chose basketball. If I had to describe her, I would say outgoing and a go-getter. Those two different words, but outgoing because when you first kind of see her, you're like, oh, she's so serious, she's all focused. But once she like gets in the mood of doing what she needs to do, you're like, whoa, that's a whole nother girl. And I'm like, yeah, I told y'all. She's the type of person that you can talk to and kids look up to her. So right there, if she say something, they're gonna gravitate to it. She's been that way since she was a young, since she's a young girl. Um, we, we worked with her. She always showed a lot of energy. Um, she's always followed directions. So she is not only a good leader, but she's a good leader because she became a good follower as a child. And so those are, those are some good characteristics that I think that shows what she's gonna be and how she's gonna become a better player as she continues to go on in basketball. She's very confident and, and, and kind of knowing where she wants to go. And so she's very um, strong-willed in a very positive way of saying that this is where I'm at and I'm set this way. So not getting off the beaten path, you know, really, um, I've seen her really hone in and focus on the things that are going to make her better, and so she's growing in that way. So she's a, a work in progress always, so I see that she, she's not satisfied with where she's at. She's always working on what she's going to be. Outside the court, we have a good relationship too. You know? I think a lot of people, when they look at us, they think it's all about basketball. It's not. We have a very close relationship. We, we talk about a little bit of everything. You know, I've always worked hard to prepare her for life in the real world. Not even only in the gym is he a mentor to me, but he always, like, he's taught me all the life lessons that I know. After God, he's uh, the only person that I can really, like, really thank for everything. Um, he's always taught me to keep God first. And he's just your ideal father, but better. I could talk about him for hours. She's quiet, but outgoing. She's self-driven. She has a sense of humor. She always smiles, but at the same time, she's, she works. She's a workaholic. She gets the job done. She's one of the hardest workers as a young lady that I've ever seen. She's possibly one of the top three basketball players in the state right now in her class, being one of the best players and getting DCAM player of the year last year. And she only played about eight games for us last year, and she played the playoffs. But that stretch of eight games, our team's wins, percentage, and assists did increase in steals increased when she stepped on the court, so it automatically showed her leadership. I would also be able to characterize her to be Miss Basketball. That's the way I see her. With ability, her vision on the floor, her desire to make sure that her teammates are involved in the game, she is the next Miss Basketball for the state of Michigan. I think that she's definitely uh, one of those players that's definitely special. She has an extremely 
um, hard work ethic. Um, she, she, goes, she goes hard all the time. I've watched her play over the years, and uh, you know, I, I think she is a tremendous talent. She's a really good basketball player. It's possible that you can you can be seeing her in the WNBA. I think she's going into a, a good college program with, with with Susie Merchant at Michigan State, so she's going to get developed uh, even more. I think um, you know the sky's the limit. You recruit as she come into college, you'll have yourself a win. Enough said. Uh, when I when I compare her to any basketball player that I've seen. I did several years, six years at Michigan State University under Coach Joanne P. McCallie. And Christian Haney, who now is playing professional basketball, is who I compare Eliza to. That's where I see her right now. She is the next professional basketball player that I can definitely see.